Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles here from the CG Sports Podcast. And today, we got another special guest today, my boy Poppy Solo, coming through today. How you doing, man? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. I'm ready for some playoff games, bro. It's, it's been a long season full of, you know, COVID and, and load management, but we're finally here, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got my guy on here. We're going to talk. We're going to talk playing. We're going to talk, you know, injuries, analysis, predictions, all that, all that, all that good stuff. You guys want to hear about that playing tournament, but, but quickly, before we get started here, I want to I want to let Solo here talk a little bit about himself because he does his own little content. So you want to you want to let the people know what, what you've been doing, what you've been up to? Yes, sir. I, you know, I'll I be on TikTok doing my thing. Poppy Solo on TikTok. I also do live content. I do watch parties for mostly Nets games. I'm a huge Nets fans. But for the playoffs, I'm going to do a lot of key games as well. You can find me on Poppy Solo on Twitch. Um, I'm on Twitter, Poppy Solo 90, but I'm currently suspended. But I should be back soon. <laughs> And yeah, so just TikTok and Twitch, I, I, I stream, you know, every Nets game and I play video games and all, all that good shit. And I'll be on TikTok posting every day, all NBA takes all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, all, all his links will be in the description if y'all want to check him out. And actually, when this video gets uploaded, he'll be he'll still be live. Me and him will be on there. We'll be doing that watch party for the for the Pacers Hornets game. So if y'all want to check that one out, and he's probably going to be doing all the games. You, you, yes, you on auto. So, hey, man. If you if you watching this video and and the games are going on right now, make sure you check my guy out. Links will be in the description for him. But let's yes, get sir. straight into it, man. So first game, of course, we got a Tuesday night here, starting off with the nine ten matchup. And just quickly, before we start this one off, I just want to explain to everybody how the playing works. So we get mm -hmm. two matchups. We get the seven through ten all got to play in this playing tournament. So we're gonna have the nine ten first. Who whoever wins that game gets loser of seven eight. And it's you guys will see as we go through it because it is it is a little complicated. I will say it took mm -hmm. a little figuring out, but you guys you guys will figure it out as we go. So let's start this one off here. We got the nine ten matchup here, Pacers and Hornets gonna be our first playoff game of this long 2020 2021 season, and I'm 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 looking forward to this one, man. I am. I really am too, man. Um, it's gonna be a good game. Uh, X net Karis Levert is going is on the Pacers, so I always got root for him. But I'm also a huge fan of Lamelo Ball. So honestly, whoever wins, I won't be too mad. It seems like the Pacers are the mo more talented team. You know, they got Sabonis, they got Karis Levert, Brogdon. I don't know how their health is right now, but they seem the most talented team. But you never know with the Hornets. You oh, know, yeah. they're 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 a fast team. They're an exciting team. It should be a really good game. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. I'm I'm definitely looking for for one one hell of a game. And you spoke about about the Hornets, how they're such such a high powered, explosive offensive team, ton of a athletic guys. And for me, this all these playing games are gonna be really tough to call. But this one for me was really 50 50 because I I could really see that 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 Pacers backcourt, you know, Brogdon, Lavert, even even Turner, Sabonis, all those guys. I could really see them getting into it, getting the groove and taking this one. But on the other hand, that that Hornets team is super high powered too. Well, of course, you know, you already spoke about it. LaMelo, uh, Malik yeah. Monk, Miles Bridges, ton of great guys here. But listen, it's it's a tough take. But for me, yeah, we I, got I got I got Indiana. Yeah, I okay. got Indiana. You know, and I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. But, you know, I wish LaMelo was healthy for this. I wish he was 100% for this. Uh, I would feel more confident. But I'm going to take Charlotte. I'm, I'm going to take it's, it's, an, it's an upset in my eyes. I know Charlotte's the higher seed, if I'm not mistaken, or the lower seed. I mean, yeah. but I think I think it would still be I think it still be the upset because most people think Pacers are going to win. So yeah. I'm going I'm going to go with Charlotte. I'm going to go with you know Rozier having a good game. I'm going to go Miles Bridges playing very confidently, and it's I think I got Charlotte, man. Okay, and and for me the the big difference maker for me taking Indiana at least was just going to be the the bigs. For, for Indiana, mm -hmm. for me, I think Turner and Sabonis, if they could get things going, I don't think Charlotte's going to have an answer. But, of course, you're looking at Charlotte, such a, a high-powered, especially three-point shooting team. And we know, we know how much this league runs around the three-point shot. And if they if they could get hot early and stick with exactly. it, I definitely think. But, hey, I, I can respect the Charlotte taking it. And for this one, just because I'm, I'm a little up in the air, for just scenario-wise, we'll, we'll rock with yours. We'll, we'll take Charlotte on this one. But... Yeah, man. So for this one, got 10 C taking down nine. The mellow ball, Malik Monk and the crew get it done. And moving into that second game, keeping playoff hopes alive. And I, I think regardless, though, as we get into this next game, we're going to talk about Boston and Washington, I assume, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think 
I don't think either Pacers or no. Charlotte beats the winner of that. <laughs> I was, that, that I, I was going to say the exact same thing because you look at you look at Boston and Washington. We'll move over to that now. With that game, it's a seven eight matchup, but. I, I really do think that both those teams are, are getting into the playoffs. I don't think yeah. I, neither Charlotte nor Indiana will take either of them down unless something, you know, something goes really, really wrong yeah. on either side. But I think Boston and Washington both are, are going to be in the playoffs this year, no doubt about it. But let's let's go to that game now, man. And it's, it's going to be interesting here because we all know it was just, a, just about a week ago here, Jalen Brown out for Ooh. the rest of the season with an injury and that's that's big especially when you look at Washington if there's any guy in that Boston on that Boston team that you want guarding Bradley Beal to me it's Jalen Brown yeah no doubt about it and and losing him is going to be huge not not to mention Westbrook's been on a tear to close out the season you guys seen just a couple weeks ago man broke Robertson's triple double record for a career the man he's been on he's been on a hot streak and with Bradley Beal coming back it's definitely this this is going to be a close one no doubt about it. What, what, what are you thinking here? They really will. And um, now I'm a Nets fan, so I'm not big on Boston. But I think if Jason Tatum can lock in, you know, I'm not sold on Washington. Everybody's yeah. scared of Washington. Everybody's scared of Westbrook. Everybody's scared of Bill. I'm not sold on them. And I know Boston lost Jalen Brown. But remember, this is one game. This is not a playoff series. This is one game. So... I, I, I and I also want to see Boston versus Nets first round. I want to see Kyrie versus his old team. So I'm personally going with Boston. I I think Tatum might drop 50. You know, so I I, I personally think Boston is is going to win this game. Now, if they lose, not surprised. So what's Brooklyn yeah. says he's been on a tear. But I'm going to go ahead. I still think minus Jalen Brown. I still think this Boston team. It's better than the Wizards, you know? And I, I could definitely see that. And we've seen what Tatum has done his entire career, mm-hmm. dude, with what he's done in the playoffs. I don't, I believe it was either year one or year two when he postered Braun in the conference finals. Yep. The dude yep. has playoff experience. The man is built to do some damage, and especially with how he's played this year. I would not be surprised at all. But this is why I'm, I'm taking – I'm going to agree with you there, and I'm going to take Boston. I'm going to tell you why. We spoke about how Jalen Brown, it's a big loss defensively, but what everybody forgets is that Marcus Samar is still exactly. on this team. This dude, he, you see him off the bench a lot, but he does get those, those starting minutes, and the dude is a dog. Simple as that. The dude is a dog, and not to mention, not a bad three-point shooter either. Yep. And he definitely can can produce not as much as Brown, obviously, but I think I think Boston just gets enough of it with with Marcus Smart mm-hmm. holding down Bradley Beal. I think they'll be able to push this one through, and I think that Boston ends up taking this one. So we got seven over eight here, Boston locking their spot in the playoffs. So no Jalen Brown, still able to get it done. And now we're gonna head over to the Western Conference games here. Moving over to game three, it'll be the 9-10 Memphis against San Antonio. Yeah, I think this one is the battle of the losers. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think whoever wins this one uh, is getting gonna get beat, you know, and end up yeah, and end up out, I guess that is. Yeah. But I do have John Moran. I do have Memphis. You you, you never know with the Spurs because uh, Coach Pop is Coach Pop, you know. They coach very well, and we we just saw them put up 100, 149 points against uh-huh. against the Bucks recently. <laughs> um, but then we saw them get they asked what by the Nets like right after that. Yeah. So you never really know. But I'm gonna go John Morant. He's very exciting. This team is deep. I, I like Valanciunas. I, I I like this team. I, I, I like JJJ. It's a really good team. So I got Memphis. Okay, and and I definitely agree with you there. With with San Antonio, just they've been like super unpredictable and inconsistent mm-hmm. this season it's just like like you said they they go out and 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 put 140 whatever on the on the bucks and then playing up against the nets and they they get whooped it, it, they've been so inconsistent and to me i just feel like san antonio doesn't have the talent to do no. damage in the playoffs listen demar DeRozan's great but yeah being a strictly mid-range shooter in a three-point shooting league it, it won't get you very far but exactly. Memphis, the, the young talent is there, dude. You see John Morant. You spoke about JJJ. Valentunas has, has been pretty solid all year. I, I, and I think this one, I, I would I would lock this one as well. I think definitely Memphis holds it down. But I would not be surprised if San Antonio pulled this one off. But for me, I, I, I would call Memphis a lock. Yeah, 100%. Me too, man. Um, 
Now the next game, bro. This is the big one. Oh yeah, <laughs> the real rematch. Yep. Go ahead and let us know which game this is, man. So we got the this is the final game here for the Western Conference. We got the LeBron Curry matchup once again, Lakers and yeah. Warriors. And this this is the one I'm looking forward to. But it, for me, it's really a similar situation to to the Boston and Washington because you you look at it and you're like. Oh, it's it's LeBron and Steph. Who's gonna win? They're gonna take one out of the playoffs. But we we me and you both know, whichever one of these teams loses, the odds of them losing that second game is, is close to none. But yeah, the, it, it's still it's still nice to have bragging rights bump that team down a little bit and give them of course. you know some extra work. But listen, Curry, this this was a year where we we came into the season thinking this is gonna be the year. The Warriors are finally gonna fall off. Clay. Clay goes down with an injury before the season even starts. And, and you know, Draymond has really mm -hmm. digressed since those championship years. And, I mean, listen, he's had some great games, but he's not what he used to be. So it was really going to come down. And, and I know everyone was saying, oh, this is going to be the year the Warriors are finally going to fall off. And look at where they are once again. They're still in the playoff picture. Steph's been playing out of his mind. And I think the dude's still in, in the MVP race. Although I don't think he, he's not going to win it, but... He's definitely in the conversation. With all that said, who's going to win this game? Who do you got? <laughs> listen, <laughs> With to, all me, that said. to me, it's, listen, and Le listen, as of right now, and I checked before we started the recording, LeBron mm -hmm. is still questionable to play. He is still not 100%. I'm sure by tomorrow morning, we'll have yeah. a confirmation as to whether he's good or not. But for right now, assuming LeBron James does not miss a playoff game with a little ankle soreness because he's yeah. the king, LeBron James. Yeah. I don't think I don't think the Warriors got enough firepower. No, I don't. Me either. Now again, this is the plan. You never know; they could steal one game. But I think when it comes down to situations like this, it's a it's a team. Like you need more than Steph Curry, and I don't think yeah. Andrew Wiggins as your second is enough. Um, I. I'm everyone knows it's, it's known. I'm not a Lakers guy. I'm, I'm not a fan of them at all. Some could call me a Lakers hater, <laughs> but I don't see a scenario. I don't care if Steph Curry drops 50 or 60. Yeah. I still think the Lakers win this game, man. I really do. It's and, and I agree. I think I think it's just they're I think they're just completely outmatched in every aspect. Mm -hmm. you, you look at this Lakers team and, and I, I realistically think that without LeBron, there's, there would still be a good chance the Lakers yep. could hold it down and win. Just because there's yep. there's too many guys on that team that can score the ball, man. It's just the exactly. team is the team is too good. And, and it's as simple as it sounds, the Warriors, are, are they're just outmatched. They don't match yep. up well with the Lakers. And I just don't see who is guarding Anthony Davis. Who? Exactly. Who? Draymond's not guarding him, bro. And it's not Looney's even just not him. You him, still got Drummond, too. You got exactly. KCP who can score with the ball in his hand. Schroeder, he, he's a great playmaker. And I'd like to see, I would like to see the Lakers because you see it a lot where, where Schroeder kind of plays in the starting lineup, but Braun still plays, uh, obviously, mm -hmm. the point guard role. I would really like to see the Lakers, maybe not this game, but maybe sometime I'd really like to see them try and put Schroeder with that bench unit because Schroeder, you've seen it in, in Atlanta and even in OKC, he strives with the ball in his hands. He knows how to get people open. He can mm -hmm. score on his own. And I just, I, it, it always bothers me whenever I'm watching the Lakers and I see Schroeder posted up on, on the wing, just watching Braun go to work. Yeah. So for me, I definitely like to see somewhere in these playoffs, I'd like to see Schroeder step back and play at the bench. But, but listen, it's, it's that's just a good point, man. It's a really good point because there's some teams out there that have a great second union unit, and mm -hmm. if yours doesn't match up with theirs, you're, it's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be tough to win, to win those games, man. To you know, while LeBron rests, while the players rest, it's going to be tough to keep up. So, yeah, Schroeder playing off the bench would definitely work out for them, man. Definitely. No doubt. And and the thing here is, obviously, Lakers, as we say, they're going to pull this one out. So they they mm -hmm. move into the seventh seed. But the, the big problem here is now you got to go play a team like Phoenix. And yeah. that's definitely a tough series for them. But we're not, we not going to get into all that right now. That's another video th two, three, maybe four or five days from now. That's a separate video. We'll talk about that. But. Listen, I think the Lakers hold it down. So we got Lakers and Boston moving into seed number seven. Now we're going to go through these final two games. These games will be played. One will be on Thursday for the Eastern Conference, and the West one will go down on Friday. So for the East here, got the Hornets going up against the Wizards in a fight for the eight seed in a playoff spot. Yeah. 
I got Hornets. I mean, not not Hornets. Sorry, Hornets. You know, <laughs> I got Washington winning by like 15. I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Now, would it be beautiful and majestic and storybook if the Hornets pulled this out? Oh, yes, yeah. it would be oh, great. Yeah. But um, just the 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 veteran experience of Westbrook and this team in general. Uh, Hornets are very young still. They don't really have anybody that, that has that experience in these in these really you know clutch games. And I think Westbrook is going to end up with a, you know the 35 point, 40 point triple double or oh, some, yeah. something like that. So I definitely have the Wizards winning that and being okay. the eighth seed. Okay. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think the, I think the Wizards hold this one down, take take it home. But I am going to get you on that lack of mm -hmm. playoff experience at Charlotte because Terry Rozier did his thing when Kyrie True. was gone. He did his True. thing, but True. but other than, other than him, you're absolutely right. Charlotte's a young team, and listen, they got a lot of potential. If they could keep all these guys together, mm -hmm. they're going to be a problem in the next couple of years. And it's the same thing uh, that I say a lot with that with that Atlanta Hawks team. You see there's Definitely. so many young guys. You got Young, Herder, Reddish, uh, Hunter, so, so many – so much young talent on that team. Those guys are, are going to be a threat in the future, and they're already they already locked in their spot going up against right. New York. But I, I definitely agree. Washington definitely holding this one down. But it's it's to me like like I agree. Like I think Washington's going to hold this one. But I got I got this feeling that Charlotte. Oh, okay. I got this feeling <laughs> that that just that they're just going to go in like. You see it like I hope with, the, so, with man. The, man, I would love to see Melo in the playoffs. Yeah, as I if would love as if his it. hype was not already. Big enough. Exactly. Imagine when they when they get him in the playoffs, dude. ESPN's not gonna be able to get enough of him. Bro, drinking water on the sideline, highlights and everything. Oh my man. god, be like wiping the sweat off his forehead, highlights, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> that's really that's really what it is, though. They really love Mellow over there. They do. Oh my goodness. So, final game here. We're gonna wrap this one up. I know I know it's a bit of a quicker video. We're we're just at about the 20 minute mark now. But listen, when we go when we go full playoffs, you know, we'll we'll, mm -hmm. we'll do some more. We'll do some more. But final game here, and I think this is the biggest gimme of, of any game we've spoken about. We got the Warriors and the Grizzlies fighting for that final seed. Yes. Now, I got I think Warriors could win this. But I'm gonna tell you right now, no, if the Warriors not. lose. <laughs> I'm 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 not I'm not picking Memphis. Okay, okay. But, but if the Warriors lose. This is gonna be some of the most epic slander you've ever seen <laughs> in your life. Twitter and TikTok is gonna go crazy. Oh, yeah. So for Steph Curry's sake, <laughs> I, I hope they win. They better hope John Morant doesn't go crazy. They better hope that Memphis defense doesn't step up. Um, Cause it could, yo, that's why I love the play in. Because these things can happen. Oh, yeah. Something something off, off the wall could happen. But you know, I, I do think the Warriors are too good for Memphis. We've seen them play at the end of the season. Yeah. And, but people who watch basketball know that that doesn't mean anything. No. That really doesn't it's, mean it's anything. A, it's a completely different mindset when you get into that playoff exactly. basketball. It's way different. Exactly. So I hope – like, what I'm truly hoping is that most of these games are tight games. That's yeah. what I want. I don't want the Warriors to blow them out. I want it to be exciting. And I hope it goes down to the wire. Because I, I love John Morant, and it's unfortunate we don't get to see – Zion or Ja in the playoffs this season. So I, I hope John Morant locks in. Yeah. I think he's like, you know, a super a superstar in the future. Oh yeah, definitely. And but you know, Steph Curry is still Steph Curry at the end of the day. Yeah, and, and I, I agree. And I think if any game is gonna really uh, flip and just be a big upset, I think the Grizzlies are the team to do it. I think if anybody's right? gonna bump a team like the Lakers or the Warriors out of that spot. It's going to be the Memphis Grizzlies. I think all the other games are, are, are pretty solid on, on our end, but I think if any team's going to come out of the water and shock the world and fight their way into the playoffs, I think it's going to be the Memphis Grizzlies. I think. And remember, if Steph Curry is cold, it's a wrap. Oh, come on. If, Cur if Curry is that's, cold, it's a wrap. That's it. And yeah, that, that's, that's, the, the that's the problem that, that's really been with them. It's like Steph scores 60 and they win, or they're losing by 15, 20 points. It's they're, they're mm -hmm. too reliant on one guy, and you say ba basketball is a team game. You, you can't exactly. win through one player unless you know you're you're uh, you know Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Prime LeBron, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not gonna happen anymore, man. No. Plus teams, the teams, teams are too strong these days, man. Yeah, the coaching, they are. The coaching's better. You know, teams are very too strong. You can't because everybody wants to complain about people people not not be able to carry, but nobody can carry, man. Yeah. It's a team sport, and if Steph Curry is not 
hot, not not you know attempting. He has to attempt twenty threes. Yeah. He has to hit eleven of them. So if he's not you know on it that game, it could be scary for the Warriors. No doubt. So that's that's gonna do it, man. So final look here, one through six already set in stone. Got Boston coming into the seven seed. They would match up with the Nets in the first round. Washington Risky. falls to the eight. They would match up with Philly round one. So that's the East locked up there for you. And then over in the Western Conference, we got the Lakers coming in at seed number seven that would be matching up with Phoenix in round number one. And Golden State just gets by Memphis. <laughs> at least that's what <laughs> I think. Just gets past Memphis. Lock up that eight seed and get a tough series against a red-hot Utah Jazz squad. Definitely, man. It's going to be a fun time. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. And one more time, guys. Make sure when y'all see this video, man, playoff, the playoffs are still going on, man. Make sure y'all are tuned in to my guy, Poppy Solo, on Twitch, TikTok, yes, Twitter. Sir. And, yeah, man, I'm going to be on there, too, with him, just talking some basketball, watching the game. And, yeah, man, so we'll be over there. But, hey, that's going to do it. Definitely appreciate you coming on, bro. Definitely going to have you back soon whenever you're around. Yeah, I had a great time, man. Shout out to CG, man. Shout out to your channel, man. I hope you do great. You're, this is one of the best shows I've been on yet. So, yeah, I, I look forward to doing a lot more shows with you, bro. I right, definitely appreciate it. So, hey, man, it's been your boy CG and my guy Solo. And we out. Peace.